Hey everybody, it's uh, Blue Eyes White Lady 23, ready to move on to Chapter 4, Roadside Battle. And here we actually get the introduction of one of my favorite characters. <laughs> and I overslept again. Now what's going on? Soren's back. Yes, yeah, Soren is a very important character and is one of my favorites. Even though he absolutely sucks right now. Hey, what's going on around right here? That's Soren, yep. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna get a lot of commentary right now just because I don't really th can't th think of much to say. Um, so yeah. Turning with another mercenary group. Well, he's back now. And he has some unbelievable news. Crimea and Diane have gone to war. And now we have a map and some ominous music. Um, yes. This is originally based in. Well, we're in Crimea right now. This is the Melior. Not just Melior. There's a typo right there. <laughs> Their base is right there. And scream of a wyvern. Back to the air while he was not the air while he was studying. And there's a horde of black attacking now. Our relationship between Crimea and Dan has been vibrant and friendly. There are only minor skirmishes. <gasps> Without warning. Rather daring gambit, apparently a surprise attack. Yes. That creepy guy right there is the King of Jayan. His name is Ashnard. He's an, and he's an ugly bugger, that's for sure. <laughs> um, that is Duke Renning, the King's brother. And the Crimean army met the attack. And sorry, ran all the way from Melior to the base. Hmm. And Soren just did a lot of, did a very risky thing in order to get this information to us in time. And now we're just gonna get a big argument between Titania and Soren on what we should do. And Soren is. Well, he's not very friendly. He's a bit less friendly than Sheenad. Despite the f fact that he's my favorite character, I will have to admit that he is. That the only person he's actually nice to is Ike.
Um, he's very tact. He's very tactical. He thinks in extremely tactical situations. He's, he's very blunt, and he's not very comfortable around people. He doesn't talk well. And he tends to just say what he's thinking, like Ike does, but Soren is a bit more harsh. Whereas Ike, it's usually, he didn't mean to say something like that, unless it's with Boyd. So, yeah. I'm sorry about the wall of text. After this chapter, they're definitely going to be in separate videos so that you can actually skip them if you want to. But this wall of text is slightly important because we have a new character that is a playable character. Uh, oh crap! What could you, Soren? And yeah, Grail's gonna step in now. Thank you, Grail, for shutting them up. That's one of the biggest headaches I've ever seen. And now Ike is finally getting it to charge your stuff. Why should I turn that on? <laughs> Shina really does not like Ike. He's very admiring of Grail, but he can't stand Ike. <laughs> very nice, Grail. Very nice. Catfree, Riss, and Soren should do. That was an order. Get moving. There's no time to waste. Mist is just gonna give like a the regal sword. This is a very important sword. It well we'll get into what it does what it's more like when we actually start using it. And Mist is trying to get Ike to bring her souvenirs. He's not going on vacation though. And here we're just going to get more of Ike's inferiority complex towards his father. And Riz is trying to pull him out of it. Uh, Riz asks him if he's alright. And we get awesome music again. <laughs> I'm sorry if my comments are being very disjointed right now, but... I don't really have much to say with wall of texts anymore, except for the fact that they're an editing nightmare. Even so. Or it's just like the GBA game so I could skip wall of text by just hitting one of the buttons. Or rather the B button or the start button. Depends on how far ahead I want to skip. Yeah, Riss is telling Ike that he might surpass him. I think he kind of does. <laughs> very good, Riss. Very good. And now everybody groups back together. There's corpses everywhere, even though we can't see them. The characters can. Um, there's a lot of black armor <laughs> but the Crimean soldiers were members of the Imperial Guard who were who guard the royal family basically wouldn't be Lord Renning who is as I said before the king's brother um 
I'm gonna get into a bit of t about Titania now. She was actually a royal knight of Crimea. We kind of get it more into this later, but that's why she has white armor. Now I'm gonna get. Now we get another boss. You can you drop your weapons and start off. Screw off, buddy. <laughs> she done. What's she done? Is be she done's being a yes. They don't listen to you when you tr when you try to convince them that you're not Crimean. And now we get Sheena being a jerk again. Oh yeah, right. This could be even. This is even more useless than Ike. I'm serious. This is absolutely worthless. At least until you can get a quest up. Oops, spoiler. You use mist. Hey, that's not until chapter nine. And I don't have to record that recorded yet. <laughs> yes, Soren can attack from behind defenses. And we basically get our prep stuff again. Soren is a mage. I think I turned it off for everybody except Soren. And then I say, yeah. I think at some point I turn it off completely just because it's stupid to have just one character. Yeah, Soren, mage level one, absolute bullcrap. His defense is two. His strength is zero. His speed and his skill are pretty good. Um, his adept skill allows him two consecutive attacks. It does not activate that often, though. It's kind of... Yeah. He uses wind magic primarily, is what his best is. Um, Magical Trinity. I said I'd get into this when we got a mage, and we do have our mage. Um, there are three levels, too. <laughs> there are three different, well, five different types of magic. Um, there's wind magic, which is what Soren uses. There's thun also thunder and fire magic. And... Let me think here. Soren can use all three of them. Sorry, I'm a little disjointed. I'm a bit tired. Oh, shut up, Hermit. Sorry, my cat is sleeping near me. Or, well, I don't know if he's sleeping or not. He's curled up, so. Anyway, um, there's also light magic and dark magic. You do not get a dark magic user in this game. But you will get a couple light magic users eventually. <laughs> or at least one, as far as I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Ooh, holy barnacle. Mm. Um, <laughs> right here I want to kill the archer guy so he doesn't sneak up over by wrist and kill him. And so, but that's all I can fit in this video, so I'll see you next time. Bye.